we were treated to another action-packed week in the AIA Singapore Premier League. A seven-goal thriller between the Eagles and the Cheetahs. Tomoyuki Doi, there is! Quality. That finish is pure class from Tomoyuki Doi. While the Sailors kept their formidable winning streak going. Gabriel Quack! What a goal! All the action from Match Day 10 and more coming right up on the SPL Show. Another edition of the SPL show. We are deep into match day 10 of the AIA Singapore Premier League and we focus our attention first on Geelong International who welcome Haugang United right here at our Tampanese hub. While the Cheetahs go into this one on the back of their spirited win over Balestia Khalsa, the Eagles were simply looking to get back to winning ways, having recorded their worst start to a season since 2012. Good afternoon everybody and welcome to the East Coast of Singapore. We're live at our Tampanese Hub for Match Week 10 in the AIA Singapore Premier League. It's the Eagles of Gelling International against the Cheetahs. How Gang United. What a weekend it's already been and what a weekend it promises to continue to be tonight. Out to Idraki now. On this right hand side they come. And crossed in. Doi! There's the breakthrough! Doi's goal drought is over. The Dynamo secures his 12th of the season. And Haugang strike first at OTH. Goodness gracious me, what's Maxat doing that far forward? Haugang improvising here, and Maxat may well find Tomiyuki Doi. Doi goal side, Tomiyuki Doi back to Idraki. And it's 2 0. Well, they went coast to coast in seconds. Idraki with his third of the campaign, and the Geelang Eagles have got it all to do now, Roshan Wright. Well, it's all about those quick counter-attacks, quick transitions. Look at how, again, I feel like I'm repeating myself here, but it's it's a key to this match and it's working out for them so well. Doi, ball to play, should have played that ball earlier, goes for the shot himself, keeper spilled it, and that's the ball game. And would you believe it, is that Afik Nori scored about 15 seconds after coming off the bench with his first touch. Well, talk about making an impact as a substitute. Afik Nori, full of energy. Driving forward there from a deeper position. Tomoyuki Doi actually has the opportunity to play in. Uh, Shawal Anwar decides to have a, a shot at goal himself. Uh, but you have to question the save. More good work by he's half on the way to the man of the match from here, Draki. Here he comes again. And it's number four. Well, Draki with the assist. And they're carving Gaelic up at will. Rosham right. Oh, they're enjoying themselves here, Haugan. So much fun. And I mean, uh, you have a look at that assist. Draki picking up another assist. That underlapping run, and it's 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 come about as a result of obviously Geelong chasing the game by that change in formation as well. Maresh turns inside. Convalius should get to this narrow angle. Convalius cross the face, Amy, and they finally get what unfortunately is only going to be a consolation. But Amy Wreckers fourth of the season bundles it home. One down, three more to go with only four and a half to play. It's not realistic, but I suppose on balance, they do just about deserve a goal, Rocha. Darren Tay looking for Maresh. Max at to Convalius! Oh. Well, they've got one back, and if that's Silvano Convalius' last goal in Singapore football, it's a cracker. He's only got two in his shorts in here, but that was a fine, fine finish, Rocha and Wright. Yeah, wonderful technique on that strike from Convalius. That's just a, a bit of a shame that we haven't been able to see much from him uh, so far this season. Mind you, there might be more goals to come. Is there more life for Tomiyuki Doi to try and get that 13th goal of the season? Tomiyuki Doi is through here. Is there another? Tomiyuki Doi, oh, there is! Quality. The Japanese Dynamo gets 13th for the campaign in two goals at injury time. Mean we've had seven goals in a Haugang game for the second week in the spin. 
It's getting international too. Haugang United five, but take a bow. Tomiyuki Doi, Roche Amrai. Individual right. brilliance. Have a look here. Young strikers are how he uses his body so well just to protect the ball. Shields it away, takes it away from Faisal Roslan and then drives down the middle. But that finish is pure class from Tomiyuki Doi. What a strike to wrap things up. Seven goals he's seen here after six yesterday. It's finished here. Galing International two, Haugang United five. I mean, the bottom line result matters, but of course, naturally, I'm not pleased with uh, certain aspects of the game. Uh, we are not pleased with uh, 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 how we considered and, and uh, based on what we have done uh, over the past few weeks. And uh, to allow uh, opponents to score goals is not something which uh, I'm very pleased with, definitely. I mean, they took their chances well. You know, they had, they had uh, the five chances. I think we had equal chance with them. You know, the only thing is that we didn't cover our chances and then uh, they took their chances well. I think we give two away too many easy goals this season, and this this just shows, shows you know another game of too 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 many uh, easy goals and bad defending from us lah. Elsewhere at the Jalan Besar Stadium, the Lion City Sailors were aiming to keep their good run of form going. On the back of four successive wins, they welcome a Tanjong Pagar United side who, if avoided defeat, would exceed their entire points tally from their 2020 campaign. So have the Sailors made it five in a row or have the Jaguars caused a massive upset on match day 10? A very good afternoon and welcome to the Jalan Besar Stadium. It's the title chasing Lion City Sailors against seventh place Tanjong Paga United in game week 10 of the AIA Singapore Premier League. It's ball to the far post. And Gabriel Quack almost got to him to the end of that. Have been left out of their sides. Oh, that's a great piece of skill there. Tanjong Paga United almost very much against the runner play stalled the lead there winning the ball back for the jaguars blake requito nice one touch and tanjong parga united have the lead with shodai nishikawa the sailors there in sixes and sevens it was almost as if he walked through them like a knife through butter Oh, and it's 1-0. The Sailors have leveled the scores. And who else but Jorge Felipe, I do believe, of the Sailors' defensive line. Gabriel Quack! What a goal! What a goal that was by the 2020 AIA Player of the Year, Gabriel Quack. Diego Lopez there, teeing him up nicely from the left-hand side. And it's Diego Lopez to Gabriel. Somehow still manages to find its way back to Gabriel Quack. The cross and Stipe Plaza and I beg your pardon, it's Diego Lopez of all the players who leapt the highest for that header. And it's 3-1 Lion City Sailors. Nope, because there goes the final whistle from Abi Rami Naidu to put the Jaguars out of the misery for tonight. They have put in a valiant effort. They have played some really good football, Tanjong Paga. But as it stands, the Sailors have come out on top with three excellent goals in the second half. I thought the boys did very well. We controlled most of the game and uh, we got all three points. Oh, uh, basically, uh, I think the, the boys has really, really done well. Basically, we, we see uh, two different sides of uh, Lion City Sailors. Uh, it's a good job by the, the uh, our, our boys to even uh, take the lead. And you see, these are the players that are being paid more. When they want to turn into another gear, they are able to do so. So when Faris was introduced in, it was a very difficult moment uh, for us because uh, Faris and Gabriel over two sides, we have to... Uh, swing a lot uh, in our defence, that caused us, us a lot of problems. 
highly entertaining clashes so far and two more coming right up after the break. But the fun doesn't end there. Sipe Plazibat and Gabriel Kwok have had a sensational run so far. So it's only right I put them through the paces of the pitch as well, but they battled one another. You do not want to miss this one. Hi, I'm Gabriel. And I'm Stipe. And we are from the Lion City Sailors. Today, we are going to play this game. First category, how many teammates can you name in 30 seconds? Minimum 15. 18. You think you can do better than I can 18? do 20. 20. Oh. In 30 seconds? 30 seconds. Yeah, let's see, let's see. Your 30 seconds starts now. Hassan, Naki, uh, Taj, uh, George, Adam, Wailun, Gabe, Stipe, Song, Diego, Shadan, Naki Udin, No Adam, uh, Faris Ramli, Adam Swandi, uh, uh, Saifullah, uh, Abdib, Rudy, uh, 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 Glenn, uh, uh, pressure, pressure, pressure. Oh. <laughs> the next category is name me things that are round. How many things that are round? Yeah. 12. 12. I let him have this one. Okay, Steve. Your time starts now. Okay. Head, ball, orange, lemon, mango, watermelon. Mango? Wow, oh, it's round. Uh, <laughs> uh, holy <laughs> shit. Bring that to 10 for you. Lah. Yeah. Coins are round. Wow. Uh, oh, shit. I think I lose this one. Uh, Fuzzly stomach is also round. Yeah, yeah. Fuzzly stomach <laughs> is round. No, I think I lose. Ah, this is the pressure. The next category is sports that you play with a ball. Let's do 10, probably. Something realistic. 10 with the ball. Okay, go on. Football, basketball, table tennis, uh, cricket, squash. Tennis, have I said? Uh, volleyball. Uh, lawn ball. What? You know, you know that, right? The wood one? Yeah, because my house have downstairs. Huh? Then, uh, netball. One more. And, uh, Two more. One more. Hey, wait, wait, pause the time first. Hey. I mean, he's distracting. How yes, yes, that's, that's the point. <laughs> okay, why do, you, yes. why do you fall into that trap? Yes. No, no, I was buying time for myself, actually. <laughs> he now, by the way, leads two to one. Okay, last category. How many countries can you name? Okay, like, name me like 25. 25? <laughs> oh. Okay, 22, can? Okay. So if you, oh, cannot, if you cannot name 22, Gabe wins it all. Yes, alright. Okay. And hey, he's gonna buy me dinner. Okay. Where, from where we start? Right? Let's. Yes. Your time starts now. Scotland, Ireland, North Ireland, England, France, Spain, Portugal, Malta, Andorra, San Marino, Italy, Germany, Switzerland, Austria, Belarus, Slovakia, Czech Republic, Hungary, Serbia, Croatia, Bosnia, Montenegro. <laughs> You've done it. Bulgaria, <laughs> Romania. Oh wow! I am so easy. <laughs> I told you. I am very impressed. Well, I mean, I, I, I'm a graceful loser. La. He, he won it. He, he's done well, la, the last round. CP, are you happy? No, it's very, very satisfying to be this chap. So, I don't know, maybe I will have small celebration tonight. <laughs> and thank you all for watching. Welcome back. Earlier on Saturday, Balestia Khalsa travelled down to OTH to take on Tampanese Rovers. <laughs> While the Tigers were simply looking to get back to winning ways, having recorded their last win on the 7th of April when they came out tops over Geelang International, the Sacks were hoping to do one better after their 2 all draw against champions Alborex. Tampanese also boasts a superior record over their opponents, having not lost against them in the last 15 encounters, dating all the way back to 2015. 
Good afternoon, everybody, and a belated Salamant Harry Raya to all our Muslim brothers and sisters. We are live at our Tampines hub on the east coast of Singapore for AIA Singapore Premier League action. It's Stags and Tigers, Tampines Rovers up against Ballastir Kalsa. Third against fifth. Nicky Singh, by the way, Nicky Melba. Oh, there's a goal here! And it's Boris Kapinovic out of nothing. Well, that's too easy. The dream start for the Stags inside nine minutes. Nicky Melvin Singh may have scored at Jurong East. Boris Kapinovic is into double digits here at our Tampanese hub. Gavin Lee, as is so often the case, emotionless on the bench. But Ballester Kalsa have the nightmare beginning here. Playing for Atletico Ottawa. Another good cross comes in. It's an own goal. Calamitous defending. And it's Mark Ryan Tam for his first goal in a Tampany shirt and Ballester Kalsa. The Tigers are being tamed here and how. Now here's a foot race and it's going to be one. He goes down and the referee's given the penalty. Well, Ryan Sanazel brings down Sime Zuzu and with their first foray into the Stags area, Ballester Kalsa have been thrown a lifeline to get straight back into this. And Zuzu will stand up to get his fourth of the season. And he dispatches it beautifully off the post past Shazwan. Stags two, Tigers one. Gareth Lowe trying to hassle and Harry. Mamedovic has got that away to Erwan. And look at Boris Kapinovic now. Mamedovic out on the left as an option. Mamedovic now gets it through. Boris and Mark Ryan Tan arrive at the far post. Mamedovic goes down and he's given another penalty. Two penalties in two minutes at OTH. And just seconds after they get back into the game, they've given the Stags the chance to open up a two goal gap again. Kapinovic. No mistake at all. Sends Shazwan the wrong way. It's Tampanese Rovers 3. Ballester, Kelso 1. It's raining goals on the east coast of Singapore this Saturday afternoon. Medovic delivers. Oh, wonderful header at the near post. And you can't believe this, can you? It's extraordinary. It's Mark Ryan Tan again. All aboard the Tan train. Tampanese Rovers have their very own version of the MRT. It's Mark Ryan Tan who's got two, and the Stags have got four. Ballester counter. Tampanese have just taken their foot off the pedal here a little bit, and they're going to pay, are they? Hoshino off the post and then off the line. They're claiming it across the line, but I think Manu Mahana did enough. Well, they switched off the last couple of minutes, Tampanese, in defence. Bricks the guard. So, season's passed, and that's a right old muddle. Can they capitalise? Hoshino still can't score. Comes out to the debutant. And he should have taken a touch there. He's had his pocket pinched by Nakamura. But they've definitely fallen asleep here, Tampanese. Can they wake themselves up here at the other end of the field? Amenovic. Armin again. They keep giving him far too much time and space down the left. Is there another goal in this for Tampanese? Yes, there is! And it's Ryan Sanazal. And another assist, a hat-trick of assists for Armin Bosniak. And Ryan Sanazel puts the cap on a great night for Tampanese Rovers. Here's a side to Vakiki. Krajcek, can he pull the trigger? Krajcek! Well saved. Hoshino now, surely. He's put it wide. The big man still can't score. He should have had two now in the second half. The game finishes with both sets of players out on their feet. It's finished here. Tampanese Rovers 5, Ballester Kalsa 1. Tough, yes, very tough. Eh? I think it's mental. We, we, we could see the last few games, four goals, and then when we could see one goal, then we uh, first half, especially one goal, the second goal, then come back, one goal, very good. Then next three minutes, we, we make the penalty, and they decide. I think this was turning point. 2-1 eh? is very open game, you know, but last only three minutes, we unnecessarily making penalty, then... 3-1, 4-1, and then it was very difficult to come back. Yeah. Second half was uh, the key possession well, and then we, we try to we try our best, but it just was uh, it's not our day. You know, it's congratulations to Tempenis, it was a better team. And yeah, I thought first half was was quite good, but um, in the second half we we weren't able to maintain our standards throughout the the 45 minutes, and the players will hear it from me tomorrow. But 
you know, overall the three points was good and there were very, very good moments when, when uh, we played in the, in the first half and second. Finally, it was the only unbeaten side, Alvarez Negata, up against the only winless side so far, Young Lions. The White Swans, not surprisingly, a little disappointed not to come away with all three points from the last time out. But if they ever needed any boost, they go into this one having won all of their last 15 encounters against their opponents. But could the disappointment from their stagnant run so far push the Young Lions to their first win of the season? Ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to the Jurong East Stadium, the home of the champions, Albrex Niigata. They take on the underdogs, Young Lions. Is it simple? This is Jacob Muller. Time to turn. Gives the ball away. It's not what they want here. Albrex comes away on the right-hand side with number 27, UN. Ball comes in, a first-time ball! And that is the first goal. That's easy. As that, there, as the ball came in, first time cross from UN, I think. And what a finish. A simple header in the end. It's going to be a long one. Ami Shine plays the ball up in the air, looking for Jacob Muller. He gets the head to the ball. Kunimoto away. And a chance for Ryan Stewart. A great shot there. Goalkeeper makes a meal out of it, and this is one all. A mistake from the goalkeeper and Joel Chu with a rebound. And what you want from any one of your players there, a shot, go for the rebound and Joel Chu does exactly that. Sure, looking for Ilhan and Jacob Mahler. Jacob Mahler has made the run. And it is Jacob Mahler. No, on the far side, a good header up there from Ilhan. Goalkeeper this time does well. Oh, that looked like a foul there. Number 27, UN. Well, Shoka tried to be a little bit smart there. And this is Joel Chu with a first time effort. The cross inside as well. Joel again. What can he do? Good turn. Another shot. That man again, Hashioka. What can he do? Can he beat his man, Kairi Nadim? He does well to just check the ball inside for Suzuki. Ruan with the first time ball. Good ball in, and that is 2 1. Great ball from Ruan. First time cross. And it's that substitute, Suzuki, with the glancing header. And again, said this in the first half if there was any chance of them scoring a goal, it would come from the right hand side. Nagasawa. Good ball in, Suzuki, can he turn his man here? A chance here probably for Albrex to make it. 3-1 and that's a chance. That's a chance for Albrex Nigata and should have made it 3-1. Oh, good play from Albrex, really good defending, great teamwork. And there you go, that is the final whistle here at the Juro East Stadium. The champions round out a 2-1 victory over the Young Lions. Uh, I felt, you know, the boys put in a good performance today uh, against a team like Albrex. Uh, the boys worked very, very hard. Uh, yeah, we, we created chances. And, uh, well, you know, things could have been different had, had Joel shot went in. Yeah. Uh, but I think, yeah, the boys came here today, uh, gave a good run out. And, uh, yeah, all credit to them because they worked very, very hard today. I'm not satisfied with the performance of the players, but... Uh, the players uh, work the hard. Mm, this match is already over, so we will uh, have to prepare for the next match. So with their seventh win of the season, the champions extend their unbeaten run and kept their one-point lead at the top over the Sailors. Just four points separate the top four, the Sacks are not too far off a further two points adrift in third, with Haugang United in fourth on 20 points. Meanwhile, the Young Lions remain the only side without a win this season, they're still bottom of the table on three points.
So it's the final four games before we head for a month-long international break. On Saturday, the 22nd of May, our featured match will see Tampanese Rovers welcome Haugang United to our Tampanese hub, while the Young Lions go in search of that elusive first win of 2021 when they take on the Sailors at the Jalan Bursa Stadium. Sunday, the 23rd, Tanjong Paga United and Balestia Khalsa will go head-to-head -head at the Jurong East Stadium, with Geelong International looking to get out of their win this rut against Alborex at our Tampanese hub. Kickoffs 5:30 p.m. Well, it's another week of end-to-end -end stuff, but sadly, it's time for me to go. You know the drill by now. I'll leave you with the top three goals from Match Day 10. See you next week. Nice one touch, and Tanjo Paga United have the lead with Shodai Nishikawa. It was almost as if he walked through them like a knife through butter. Taylor looking for Maresh Maxat to Convalius! Oh. Well, they've got one back, and if that's Silvano Convalius, his last goal in Singapore football, it's a cracker. He's only got two in his shorts in here, but that was a fine, fine finish. Tomiyuki Doi is through here, is there another? Tomiyuki Doi, oh, there is! Quality. Take a bow, Tomiyuki Doi, Rochelle Individual brilliance, that finish is pure class from Tomiyuki Doi.